In this video, I would like to explain the differences between wind speed, wind force and wind pressure. Let's start with wind speed. Wind speed can be described in all common speed units. For example, the imperial unit using miles per hour, the metric units using kilometers per hour and meters per second, and finally the nautical unit using knots. So far, so good. I believe everybody has probably heard of the Beaufort scale that puts wind into 13 different categories. From 0, which is calm, to 12, which is a hurricane. This scale is named after the British maritime surveyor Sir Francis Beaufort, who introduced it in 1832 into the English seafaring. But he didn't invent this scale by himself. It was originally used to describe weather conditions observed during seafaring. Unfortunately, wind cannot be measured in Beaufort, since the scale only relates on the effects on the water or on the trees. Therefore, wind speed is currently measured with an anemometer. This allows the previously mentioned speed units to be assigned to the relevant Beaufort classification. For example, an 8 Beaufort wind speed covers a range from 17.2 to 20.8 meters per second. You can see that the scale is not linear. This means that an increase in speed in meters per second does not correspond to the same increase in Beaufort. It's important to note that wind speed is always measured at a height of 10 meters to avoid distorting the measurements with turbulence effects. The only point of contact with this scale for non-shippers is that it is often used in weather forecasts. The last and most important term for our industry and for operators of temporary structures, however, should be wind pressure. Keep in mind that wind pressure is again only a variable that depends on wind speed. The relationship results from an equation that states wind pressure is equal to the squared wind speed in meters per second divided by 1600. The square in this equation has a decisive influence. It means that a doubled wind speed results in a fourfold higher force. At 15 meters per second, for example, the wind pressure is 0.14 kN per square meter, which corresponds to approximately 14 kg per square meter. If the wind pressure is calculated for 30 meters per second, the resulting value of 0.56 kN per square meter is four times higher. But even this equation is only an approximate formula, since wind pressure depends as well on the density of the air. This is usually assumed to be approximately 1.25 kg per cubic meter at sea level. But this density changes with altitude, with temperature and barometric pressure. For example, a storm on the summit of Mount Everest generates less force than a storm at the same wind speed on the coast.